<laughs> my thought was, is that, look, if it's a utility, I, I pay based on how much water I use. I pay based on how much electricity I use. Does that mean that eventually the form, uh, the way that we build consumers is going to have to change, that you don't get this all-you-can-eat free plan that, to this point, a lot of cable companies and, and telco companies have provided? No, it, it, here's what it means in gross terms. If it becomes a utility, you're going to get utility-like returns on your investment. That's number one. Number two, it means that the government's going to become a bigger and bigger player in terms of deciding how much to charge for whatever it is you get. Um, and but I margin, think margins in the cable business are close to 90 percent, right? You do recognize that the, just the, the truth, the truth in numbers. And I, by the way, I, I work for NBC. We're a unit of Comcast. I'm a shareholder in the company. I want them to succeed. But I'm just, I'm just laying out some well, basics. Well, well, you know. We ran a pretty big cable company. I know, Time Warner, Time Warner Cable. For, for a lot of years, and I didn't see any 90% margins. However, That's what they tell him at the New York Times, the other place he works. Yes, so. okay. But, uh, however, the point is, actually, cable, you know, the U.S. is a huge company. Cable and now the telcos and the satellites have done a pretty good job of deploying, you know, broadband access nationwide across the country. Lots of money. Billions and billions of dollars have been invested in this. And why? Because investors see it as a place where they can get a return. And it's the question I would ask you, Andrew, is where, you know, where is the massive abuse that, that requires further intervention by the government in terms of sort of sorting out how this resource gets, uh, gets allocated? Moreover, I think it's kind of crazy to say that we're not going to let them, the, the providers, segment we got to talk about Judy's book in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> but segment uh, the, the way that services are. Imagine if you lived in a country where there were no uh, interstate highways and you had to go from New York to Los Angeles on, you know, old Route 66. You had to pass through 150 different towns um, on your way to the coast instead of just being able to get on the highway and boom, go. That's in part, I mean, that's just market segmentation that makes some sense. I actually and don't disagree will, with you at all. I don't disagree. No, I, I have to say this is a red letter day for me. 